Southwestern confirmed two North Texas cases of an Omicron variant. Now, this is just one of the major developments in the fight against COVID this week. Let's bring in Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health to talk a little bit more about this. Dr. Winter, good to see you this morning. Good morning. Good to see you, Sonia. Okay, can we start with this stealth variant that we're hearing about? What is the deal? What is this? Yeah, it's a modification or actually a mutant of Omicron. They call it Omicron B2.B2. I don't know what that means, but we know a little bit about it. It's in most countries of the world in small amounts. It's in four states in America, including Texas. Just a few cases, two you said right there. We don't know enough about it, except we found that it's, it looks like it's about the same mildness. I like that word with Omicron. The number of hospitalizations is about the same as Omicron. We don't know yet if it's more transmissible or less. We'll find that out in time to come, see how fast it mutates. And we don't know yet how well it works with the vaccine. So a lot of more information to come. It's brand new, so far not a big imprint, but we'll be stay tuned about this, Sonia. Yeah, I know right now, Dr. Winter, and we've talked about this before, but a lot of people are still wondering, well, what is up with all these breakthrough cases? Are the current vaccines protecting me against what you know delta omicron the stealth variant any of this stuff all of this stuff what do you tell your patients who are questioning this yeah a lot of studies out cdc just came out this week and said we've actually looked at this in more detail and if you've been vaccinated fully vaccinated there's an 82 percent less chance of requiring hospitalization and if you get a booster that goes to 97 percent less chance so the vaccines work very very well very well, Sonia. I'm glad you mentioned boosters because I've even received emails from some of our uh, viewers who say, Sonia, I've already gotten a fourth dose. At what point is that appropriate, especially if you're immunocompromised? What do you suggest to folks who are in that position? Yes, uh, right now we're saying, or the CDC is saying, that if you are immunocompromised, old or frail, have a lot of comor comorbidities, a lot of other medical conditions, you should consider getting a fourth booster, or at least a second booster after J&J, &J, if that's what you've had before, and do that about five months after the first booster. That's if you've got the immunocompromised state and the other conditions. Otherwise, we're not really sure yet. Actually, they've delayed that information. Maybe we should get one in six months, maybe next year. So right now it's up in the air. Doesn't hurt to get it, but should we be getting that, the fourth vaccine? More information also to come about that. So future of vaccines, this is so interesting to me. You've got Moderna and Pfizer working on these Omicron specific vaccines. What do you think about this? Yeah, it's interesting. So we know the vaccines work very, very well now. We just talked about that. Do we need another one? Well, Pfizer and Moderna are already out in front of us. Pfizer on Tuesday announced they've got one in the works. Moderna said on Wednesday, we've got one that's specific for Omicron. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna take folks that have been vaccinated and put them in two groups. One will get a booster of the regular booster. One will get this new Omicron variant specific vaccine. We'll see when what's, what works better. So more information to come about that. Right now you can't get them and I'm not sure actually that we need them right now. Yeah, and study design is so important here. Those people aren't gonna know which ones they get. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see what the results uh, are. Okay, I wanna talk quickly Indeed. about treatments here, the therapeutics for COVID-19. What is available? and what is on the horizon? Yeah, um, it's a good question because we had two monoclonal antibodies we were using a lot and we found out they don't really work well against Omicron. So the uh, FDA has taken away their emergency use authorization. Those aren't on the market anymore. There's a new one out, Sertrovimab. That does seem to work, but it's in very short supply. Pfizer and Merck have pills that are out also in very short supply, all those seem to work. But right now, fortunately, if you've been vaccinated and healthy, you probably don't need it. Those folks are actually usually well in my practice in two, three or four days, and then they feel perfectly fine. Hmm. But these other ones, they're not quite in good enough supply yet. So hopefully people are gonna be careful, get vaccinated or protect yourself because we don't have good extra treatments right now, Sonia, but in the future, we should have plenty, I'm told. Yeah, they are very hard to get uh, as far as my experiences with people around me have gone. So, uh, Dr. David Winter, thank you so much. Good to see you today. Thank you. Good to see you.